While all the attention of the public was focused on the outbreak crisis around the US banking sector and the government's attempts to save the situation, another bad news arrived that not only shocked the White House but also raised doubts among experts about the future of the United States. A few days ago, accurate data on investments in US government securities were published. And this data shocked many experts. I myself, personally preparing material for a future video about the upcoming financial and economic apocalypse, was pretty surprised by the data on the US national debt. No, I will not discuss the rapidly growing US national debt in this video, and how it is profitable for Washington to receive investments in US securities from other states. You yourself know and understand all this perfectly well. In this video, I would like to discuss another very important aspect. The published data showed that Russia has rapidly begun to reduce its investments in US government securities. And every month, the amount of investments decreases significantly. If in November last year, the amount of investments in American securities by the Russian Federation amounted to almost $700 million, then in February 2023, this amount already amounted to $70 million. Thus, Russia is gradually reducing its investments in the US government debt, moving away from Washington, and ceasing to stimulate the American economy, which is already on the verge of complete collapse. The most terrible thing in this story is that China began to act on the example of Russia. Beijing even six months ago began to reduce its investments in U.S. Treasury securities. However, after the Chinese leader visited Moscow, Beijing's investments in U.S. securities decreased by 70 percent. I think Putin managed to convince the Chinese leader to join the new tactics of Moscow, which has already begun to deal a crushing blow to the hegemony of the United States. The U.S. Treasury Department urgently held a closed meeting, where a discussion of this problem was initiated. China is the largest investor in U.S. securities. The amount of Beijing's investments is almost $1 trillion. The United States is well aware of all the damage that can happen if China continues to reduce its investments. At the same time, Moscow also continues to call on other countries of the world to abandon purchases of U.S. Treasury securities. Such tactics have already begun to give an unpleasant result for Washington. Many countries, including Saudi Arabia, have already expressed their desire to follow the example of the Russian Federation and China. Many experts are sure that this is why the United States began to rapidly lose its position in the international arena, and that is why Iran managed to win in the uninternational court, which ordered the United States to pay Iran the damage caused for the frozen assets of Tehran. Surprisingly, the International Court of Justice of the United Nations declared illegal the actions of the United States to freeze Iran's assets, which indicates that the hegemon is rapidly losing its position. A few years ago, it was impossible even to imagine that the United States would be found guilty of causing damage to Iran. It remains unclear whether Washington will try to challenge the court's decisions or compensate Iran for the damage caused. In any case, this is a real precedent that will cause a domino effect, which will force other countries of the world to sue the former hegemon as well. According to experts, in the near future, the United States may also be prosecuted for the frozen assets of countries such as Afghanistan and North Korea. It was tough sanctions and multi-billion dollar frozen assets by the United States that led to the fact that North Korea and Afghanistan did not have the opportunity to develop economically and to ensure worthy provide supplies of food to the population. As we can see, the ring around the United States is shrinking. Literally every month, Russia and China are bringing a multipolar world closer. Whether the United States will leave the pedestal voluntarily or Russia and China will have to use force is unknown. We can only hope that the United States, in its desire to keep the hegemon status in its hands, will not lead the world to a third world war, 